Last time, we did the stuff down at the bottom. I've cleaned up my inventory a little bit. Not a lot. I, I didn't do a full-on organization. We just sold some excess stuff, put all the rings kind of like out of the way on one character, namely him. He now has all three of the Resist Poison rings, plus the one on himself. Um, we're probably not going to attune to him. I'm just going to sit there for a while. The Necrotic one could be kind of nice if we run across Undead. But right now, the only ring of protection that I really care about is going to be this ring of fire resistance. That said, we could go and actually get some spider walk boots for him. And that would free up a slot for us to potentially, potentially, get ourselves a little bit of... Yeah, we'll go there. But it could give us a little bit of more flexibility with like what we do actually have attuned. So how much are the things from you now? I don't think we have anything Clear for skies, you. Clear skies, my friends. We do require your services. I'm trying to keep ice from hitting in my hitting me in my face while I'm taking a drink. So let's see. We can't. Oh, okay. So I think we'd actually have to take a long rest to get those. Or oh, never mind. No. We should be able to afford them. Let's go ahead and take a short rest. I do want to see if they pop up as refreshed or not. Clear skies, if they don't, it's fine. I mean, I'm not that attached to them. We do require your services. I'm not sure exactly what refreshes them. But yeah, they're not refreshed, so we can't actually buy any more of those. But, which is sad, because we already have three people with them. We just, we're missing, well, we have two people with them. We're missing one, one fun thing to walk on the walls. I probably should have switched attunements off of that onto Necrotic. But I do want to see if there's anything else in here that would be even remotely interesting to attune to. This doesn't require attunement. We could buy another one and actually have Scorching Ray on multiple characters. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go ahead and buy that for him. He's got, now got Scorching Ray as well. And you, do we have anything else that can just shoot stuff that's just kind of like, a you don't have to attune, it's just going to make you insanely strong, it doesn't matter kind of thing. Immune to magic missile, not really useful for us. It's useful for the enemy because we use a lot of magic missile, as they have seen by putting up the uh, shield skill. So let's see, you already have strength. I think we already got one of those quivers. Did we not? I thought we did. But I could be wrong. It might actually be... No. Okay. Yeah, we could buy one of those quivers. Just to have a little bit of extra love there. Just double checking there's nothing else that we really want. I'd like something that I don't have to attune to as well. But, unfortunately, most of these things you do have to, you know, attune to. So, yeah. And Wand of Detect Magic, not really useful for us. We have a wizard, so we have the ritual kind of going with that anyway. So, let us see. Yeah, I think we'll just buy another one of these whenever we come back through. Now that we have two circlets of blasting, we have more shots to be made. And I don't think he's actually got terrible... No, he has fairly decent int. You're the one with terrible int. So yeah, these are going to be our ones that are probably going to be best off with the circlets of blasting. So let's go do our other side quests. And then we'll get back onto that main quest as well. I have a feeling those uh, circlets of blasting are going to be absolutely useless on the next part of the main quest. Because both of them sound like fireplaces. But I do want to go ahead... And we will go here first. Yeah, tomorrow in Ruins. We're just going to go through it in order and just grab each of the exclamation points and then come back and turn them in. It will be fine. I probably should have said it so I could do the whole, uh, who's your whatchamacallit, attunement while we're walking. Hey, you finished some arrows. Sweet. I forget what I had them making. I think I had them mostly making arrows and maybe a few potions? Question mark. 
And there's one of those potions we were making. We're just making supplies for whenever we start encountering things that are exceptionally difficult to deal with. At least that is our goal. And so, Tamarin Ruins, and then we'll hit the Imperial Outpost, and then we'll go over to the Fortress of the Shield and kind of just take that circle. Sorry for whacking the microphone there. It just kind of drifted down, apparently. Yeah, usually I have it braced against the hutch, but it has drifted a good about five inches off of that. Okay. Let's see what we can do. This one should be the ruins where we had those gravestones. We were basically taking that thing back to it, and I think we have to kill... What's his face, if we want to? So yeah, quick saving. I don't see anything over here. We'll keep an eye out. I don't think we're going to go all stealthy because that will take a while to walk. What is that thing? To open and close doors. So that thing can actually... Interesting. It looks like that is like a trap door we can actually do something with up there. Not entirely sure. <laughs> yep, keep walking around those weird areas. So the area we need to be is down here. And I have a feeling we're going to... Yeah. There's a bunch of nasty down there. Okay. We apparently can see it from here. So those are gravestones. We've got zombies. Got a couple unknown creatures. And we've got a Badlands Wraith. This is going to be painful. Uh, go ahead and be cautious for this. We want to get first strike on them. Because uh, they're not necessarily showing... Well, yeah, no, they're showing up as green. So I don't think we can just straight up attack them, can we? No. Got to deal with them the old-fashioned way. Okay, so you guys are going to come back this way. We're going to have you go there. You go there. And you go there. Actually, no, you go behind this. Then you're going to be the one who goes up and greets them. Although you have turn undead. Maybe you should be the one greeting them. Or with the one greeting them. Yeah, you go there. We don't have a path there. What? Dang it. This should still give him line of sight on it, at the very least. So what we need to do is we'll move forward, see what they have. Uh, did we forget to close the door on our last visit? Never opened it. Well, someone's dropped by. Let's cleanse those tombs with holy water. Not many remains left for the prayer. You had to say it. Get ready, people. We're not going to try talking to them first. Zombies don't talk. We had to do a religion check to get zombies don't talk. Okay, so they are red now. Get away. It sort of spotted him, but not quite. So I guess, I guess we're fighting them. So guess what? Fireball time. Uh, let's go ahead and wait for that other one to get moving in there. Boom. We don't care so much about the zombies. We want the ghosts and gas and all that kind of stuff dealt with. So a surprise shot. Ow! Not bad. We killed a zombie. And apparently this is an enemy too, I guess. Or, no, never mind. It was right there. Okay. So you get to go ahead and get into some cover. You are our wizard. Okay, end turn on you. You don't really have much to follow it up with. You could take out the wraith. Or you could shoot at some of these others. I'm going to have you switch over to the bow and go after the wraith. Actually, no. You're going to do this. One, two, three. Fire damage, go! Tires. Oh, he's resistant to fire. That's not good. Oh, you can't hide there, can you? Mmm, that sucks. Can you hide there? Nope. 
Shadow dodge to there? Okay, so you have gotten out of their range, at least. That guy is resistant to fire, unfortunately, so we're going to have to take that into account. I'm going to go with you just moving up. You're not even going to be stealthy, I don't think. Well, you're going to be stealthy, but you're going to get spotted pretty soon. So we'll go for... Hmm... Okay, an enemy you see becomes luminous for a while. And did not get a wisdom save. So he is now glowing. And we are going to go ahead and... I'm going to Misty Step... Actually, no, we're not even going to Misty Step. We are going to... Expeditious Retreat, I think. And move along the ground over here to get this side taken care of. So dash that way don't get spotted okay and turn there they're going to be surprised for a little while you don't have a real easy way to deal with them unfortunately I think we go spirit guardians on you but I do want to cast other things it's kind of annoying um, we're going to go with yeah spirit guardians What's fun is this sword actually gives us Spirit Guardians as well. So I will cast it at level 4, just to give myself even more damage on it. And you are going to beckon them in. In turn. So you are ready to encroach upon their personal space. And we are ready to set them ablaze. Unfortunately, that guy is resistant to fire, so we will go here so we have line of sight on everything. And we've got zombies to deal with. I'm tempted to... I think I am actually going to go like this. And just drop it kind of like in the way to get these guys tentacled as they're coming towards us. So right about there. Black tentacles, go! Yeah. Oh, we succeeded. End turn. So if they're stuck there, they can't come towards us. If they do come towards us, we have a, a bubble of doom to help us. So I will go for Ray of Enfeeblement. Oh, that's out of range. Fine, you'll just shoot at him. Boop. There you go. Success. He's not resistant to that, at least. Because it's from a plus one bow. Yes, attack. Oh, huh? critical miss. Why? Yeah, you guys got spotted. He's immune to something. Ah. What, what are you actually immune to there, friend? I guess he's immune to being um, restrained. That's interesting. Bashy, bashy time then. Yeah. Badlands Wraith, you really kind of chose the worst target to, you know, fight. Because I think he can take you relatively easily. Oh, he's resistant to cold. I think he's resistant to all elements, if I had to guess. So get up there and end turn. These actually... Okay. So it failed against it, but I think it just can't be ensnared because it's a ghost. So let's go for some more love. I'm going to go up and I'm going to actually slash you. Now you get to just brawl with this guy. Yeah, go ahead and even use your divine intervention. Failed. It's now stunned. We'll pass on that one. So it's stunned for its next turn. It's just, it's going to die. So secondary spell. Let's go for, does anyone need any healing? No. Does anyone need a shield of faith? Sure. Nope. Actually, no. We're not going to do that. Intern. They do need a shield of faith, but they're not going to get it. Oh, you guys can hop over that. You are agile little zombies. What is this? Day of the Dead? Day of the Dag Nabbit? Yeah, it's Day of the Dag Nabbit. So, cast spell. Let's go for... Let's go for a high-level magic missile. 
Go one, two, three, four. Actually, we'll do all of them on you. Guarantee that thing dies. It didn't die. So, end turn? Yeah. Yeah, try and snipe it. You might actually, yeah, I think if you get a hit on it. Lucky. You didn't get sneak attack on it, though. Hmm, interesting. So that one, it failed the check as well. That was painful for it. So all we have left is two zombies. I am not concerned of these at all. Concerned by them, sorry. There's one down. There's another one. And they're not even resistant to cold damage. So that murdered them. Got a thousand XP from it. Definitely want to save afterwards. We're probably going to have another fight here if I had to guess. Just a weird hunch. We'll come grab this stuff in just a second. So there's one purified. Let's grab all that. Loot all. Yep. Um, You are going to go ahead and lose concentration. Where are you? Yeah, stop doing black tentacles. The rest of these are still doing concentration on their other skills, so I am fine with this. Oh, I forgot. I actually just realized something about the stream. I'll fix it in just a second. We'll get that one, and then we'll get this one. I have it on the wrong game. Who are you to disturb our eternal rest? A follower of the gods, hoping to save your soul. There are no gods in this place, fool. Do you truly believe that? Of course. Otherwise, they would have answered us in our hour of need. Did they not? I prayed and never got answered. Yes, it did. Liar! Did you not have water and the means to grow food? Barely! Were monsters not kept at bay from your valley? We heard them roam at night! Weren't you spared the worst of the mana collapse? What? And yet you survived how many years here? But my prayers weren't answered! Yes, they were. You were just too mad with grief to see it. Behold the power of a rune, apostate! It won't work, you fool. Keep them coming. Well, we get to fight them. One second, though. I'm going to change the stream title to... Salasta. I left it on Diablo 2. I apologize. Someone probably came in here hopeful and was sorely disappointed. So, oh, there we go. So now we actually have a spectral something. A zombie. Oh, it's just two zombies and him? A spectral avenger. Well, uh, you're not going to be avenging too much there, friend. What does that symbol mean? Targeted by spirits. Oh, that just means we have... Why is it a freaking bat? <laughs> it looks like a bat. Anyway... Let's go and do a magic missiles on you. Why? Because we can. And he is not happy about that in turn. We probably actually could have used our sword as well. Oh, wait. No. Our sword is uh, after him. Okay. So what do we want to do with you here? I'm going to go ahead and Ray of Enfeeblement you. I want to see it go to work. He failed. He's now weakened. So cutting action, let's go ahead and disengage, proceed. And you're going to just come over here. You're going to still be in the bubble, I just don't want you right next to him. Enter. No, he succeeded, took seven damage. He is not doing very well. Uh, Do we want to prevent the incoming attack? Sure. Just protect ourselves from it, just a little bit. Now it's your turn. I think it might be time for more magic missiles. Level 4 magic missiles this time. 
Yeah, we'll go with all of them. Bye, Spectral. Oh, we got really low rolls on all of them, so he survived by just a mouse fart. I was hoping that would actually kill him. So you are going to come over here, get all up in their business, and end turn. Once more, we prevail. Just immediately died. Sweet. Well, that's not a threat. I kind of wish we could have persuaded them to a victory, but it's fine. Go back to Rogar. Okay. And dash. Do we just finish this guy off? Nah, we'll just end turn. Oh, we actually we have a second dash. Okay. Or do we don't? End turn. And, oh, he didn't take lethal that time. Although he is still a terrible aim. That's just kind of what it is. Uh, yeah, go for a crossbow shot. We're not going to use up any more spell slots on this. More coming your way. Wonder what 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 was the what was the deck save about? Maybe against the fire arrow? Uh, we'll check it later. We'll look in just a little bit. I think it might have been against the fire damage. I trained <laughs> 600 for XP for that. That was even easier than the last fight. But it was like way over half the XP. So that we are not looking bad as far as our XP goes. We are going to hit 10 relatively easily. Way before the end of all this. So that's not going to be a big deal. We still have to go after the next area though. So... Yeah, we just have to go back to whom? Yeah, go back to Rogar and Karkeflin and bring the holy symbol back to them. Say we killed them. Mama. Ooh, we killed a man. <laughs> no. Yeah, just go ahead and run back. Hopefully, yeah, no interruptions on our uh, movement back. And out we go. That was an easy first encounter for the day. I am fine with that. <laughs>